Yeah. It was good, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This was this threw me off a little bit. When cops arrest their own kids. We got Teresa Lee on the screen. Hopefully she ain't you know what I'm saying? Ain't do nothing too bad, but arresting your own child is insane, bro. Next we're headed to Midlothian, Texas, where officers Philip insane. Evett and Nicholas Vanderkar found themselves in the middle of a controversy after pulling over a police commander's daughter. It all started on the 12th of March, 2021, when the officers spotted a red Jeep swerving on a main road. They immediately pulled the vehicle over and went to check on the state of the driver. How you doing? My name is Officer Evett, Midlothian Police Department. Hi. Can I get your license from me? So the reason I pulled you over is you're all over the road, Miss Regan, is it? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Or? Yeah, I was I was on the phone with my boyfriend. I'm Okay, okay. Just a little bit upset. I'm I'm fine. Okay, where were you coming from, Miss Regan? I was going I was coming from Fort Worth. From Fort Worth? Okay. What were you doing out there? I was just hanging out with my friend. I'm on the way home. I live in Waxahachie. Okay, so this isn't a good address here on in Arlington? No, I live in eight one. Texas. That is old. That's an old address? Yeah. Okay, okay. You got insurance on the vehicle, Ms. Yes, Regan? Yes, I do. Do you have any weapons or drugs in the car? Nope. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. No problem. Okay, cool. Have you had anything to drink tonight, Ms. Regan? Uh, uh yes, a little bit. A little bit? What's, uh, what's a little bit? One, oh. two, three... Um, I mean, I, I was with my friend. I was in Fort Worth. She was driving. I'm, I thought I had enough. Okay, okay. So you just, um, well, that's fine, Miss Regan. If you could do me a favor, can you turn off the vehicle and yeah. put the keys on the dashboard for me? Yes. I'm going to have you step to the rear for me, okay? Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. The officer had just pulled over his superior's daughter, and at first glance, she did not appear to be in the right state to be operating a motor vehicle. All right, so Miss Regan, how much you like? What did you have to drink? Um, a couple shots. A couple shots. Yeah. Do you know what they were? Uh, whiskey. Whiskey? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what kind of whiskey? I'm curious. I like whiskey, so. Uh, <laughs> Jack Daniels. Oh come on, you got the cheap stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> so how long ago was that? Uh, what? What's right now? Uh, like ten. What time it was about like. 9, 10-ish. 9, 10-ish. Okay. Yeah. What time do you think it is like right about now? It's. I know it's past midnight. Past midnight? Yeah. Okay. Do you know where you are by chance? Yeah. Waxahachie. Okay. Okay. All right. So, did you have, when's the last time you had something to eat? Mm, when I had dinner. When you had dinner? Yeah. And what time did you say that was? That was about like mm, 6, 7. 6, 7. Okay. And then it was a couple shots of Jack Daniels, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I mean... Do you, do you mind if I do some tests to make sure no, you're okay to drive? Yeah. You know, just to make sure if, if you're good to go, we can get you going home and get you out of here, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, Sorry, that's up I was going to say, that's up to her. Oh, no, that's up to me. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> nice shoes, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> got them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I like them. A couple them. days ago. Woo, that was a shark. So... On a scale of like zero being as sober as you've been in your life to 10 being like the most intoxicated, where do you think you'd like put yourself? Mm, uh, four or five. Four or five? Okay, okay. That's fine. So, um, do me a favor, if you could stand right here. Reagan admitted multiple times that she had consumed alcohol, and after a failed field sobriety test, it was clear just how inebriated she was. This, of course, meant she was getting arrested, but that's when the encounter took a different turn. Spread your feet for me, man. Okay. All right, you are under arrest for driving while intoxicated, okay? Okay. Give me your other hand, please. All right. Okay. Is there anything else you need outside out of the vehicle? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Those aren't too tight, are they? No. Okay. I'm just making sure, okay? okay. Give me one second. I'm going to double lock these, okay? Okay. Do you have a wallet in there? Yeah. Okay. Do you need that at all? Okay. All right. I'm just going to check for weapons real quick, okay? You don't have any weapons, any knives on you, right? No. Okay, all right. All right, 
Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Well, we're going to get you right back there, okay, Mr. CCH for DWI. Can I get her name or deal? Oh, you didn't add her? No, not yet. Here, I can stand by. That's right. Stand here. by. Go ahead and take a seat in there, okay? Okay. Just watch your head, all right? Okay. Oh, she's trying not to cry. Hey, what's up? Are you 25 real quick? Yeah, yeah. Just hold on one second, Miss Regan, okay? Okay. What's up? Put this in the car real quick. Rip up. Real quick. <laughs> it's okay. Just, just, just talk real fast. Real fast. Good job. Good job. Good job. Officer Vanderkar took off his body cam and asked Officer Evett to take off his as well. They then talked about the fact that they had just arrested a superior officer's daughter. Unsure what to do, they called Sergeant Stephanie Hansen. The sergeant told them to let Reagan go, so they did just that, instructing her to call her father to come pick her up. This decision, however, was not without consequences. An internal investigation was kicked off and every officer involved was brought in for questioning. At some point, Miss Regan is removed from the vehicle, uncuffed, and the video stops. Yes, sir. How does she leave the scene? Um, her father comes and picks her up. Um, She's by herself? Yes, sir. Um, from what I was... Were you there when he showed up? Yes, sir, I was. Okay. And, I mean, that's what I was told by Officer Evett at the time, was, hey, we were told to unarrest her. That's what Evan says? Yes, sir. That's what I was told. Had you seen anybody get unarrested like this in your year and a half of being here? No, sir. I can't, I can't say that I have. And did it strike you as odd? Uh, yes. It actually made me really upset. We're trying to be honest with each other. Yes. It made me very upset. Um, you know, I've had, I just had to voice my opinion to others because, you know, stuff like that eats at me because we've seen stuff like this happen, you know, we're showing videos and stuff. And I don't, I, you know, it's almost that moral compass. And I felt like it was altered that day. And I couldn't sleep. I mean, because again, like, I know what we were doing. I didn't believe in, you know, um, that, that's just me. Um, I'm not, I don't speak for anybody else, obviously. Just speak for yourself. For me, yeah, it really did. Like, it made me very, very upset. Officer Vanderkar painted a picture of exactly what happened, making it very clear who made the final controversial decision that night. Next up was Officer Evett. All he told me was, do you know who that is? And I said, no, nah, I have no idea who that is. Um, he's like, that's... Commander Regan's daughter. And at that point, I mean, uh, first, like, uh, it blew my mind. I was like, holy. And uh, I did get scared at that point because I just, I'm like, this is one of my supervisor's daughters. Um, and just. But so? Like, what does that matter? It scared me. It scared you. Yeah. Why did it scare you? Just because it was one of my supervisor's daughters, like I started thinking of my career. So and I don't know why, but it that's the first thing that jumped into my head and like This is what I be talking about, it, bro. It's like this. That's my whole thing with like the job, like the you know what I'm saying, like having a superior and stuff like that. Because it's like, bro, you doing the right thing. Even if you didn't recognize her. Y'all could have act like you didn't know her. And this could have just been a regular arrest. But you were so afraid of another man. I get your job on the line, but fear? You're doing the right thing. If anything, you can probably fight that in court. If it's a fair court, you know what I'm saying? People be sliding money. I get it. But still, it's like, you doing the right thing. I don't know. You lose your job, like you're gonna lose your job for doing the right thing. That's the first thing that came to mind, and then from there, um, I told him I'm, I'm gonna call, um, I'm gonna call Sergeant Hanson, and just tell her um, what I have 
and what's going on. And that's exactly what he did. Call Sergeant Stephanie Hansen. So it Ultimately, was, yeah. it was so her decision to let mind. Reagan go. When it was her but turn in the hot seat, like... she got a lesson in ethics. If we're in the business of handing out favors mm -hmm. for each other mm -hmm. um, and not administering justice mm -hmm. fairly, mm -hmm. we're going we're gonna to face some consequences. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's bad. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. Um, you can't let your personal relationships affect your decision to arrest or not arrest. Mm -hmm. You know, we discussed today in the oral boards mm -hmm. about how we need to change the questions mm -hmm. a little bit to, if you come across the mayor's wife and she's drunk, mm -hmm. what do you do? Mm -hmm. It's an ethical thing, right? Mm -hmm. So we have that exact same thing here. Cassidy's not a political figure. But somebody we have a relationship with. Yes, sir. After that, Sergeant Hansen was placed on administrative paid leave in order to attend ethics training. All the officers were given written reprimands. Winter Garden Police say Chase Mina was found good. asleep behind the wheel on Saturday night in the area of South Dillard Street in East Story Road. They say the lights were on, the engine was running, and there were two open beer cups found in the cup holders of the car. This is Chase Mina, son of Orange County Sheriff John Mina. On the 13th of August, 2022, he drank so much alcohol that he passed out in his car in the middle of the road on his way home. By the time officers arrived at the scene, Chase was still sleeping and in need of a serious wake-up call. Yeah. Where are you? Sorry, Where? Can you, are you able to step out with me? Yeah. Oh, man. You okay? Let's just step towards the back of the car, okay? There you go. What's going on, man? Yeah. Lead the whole ride on. Yeah? Where are you coming from? Lead the ride on. Where, where are you coming from? Uh, I don't leave the ride home, man. No, leave the ride home. Okay, I don't understand what you're saying. Did you get a ride home? No. Say it again for me. Leave the ride home. The ride, the ride home. The ride home? Yeah. Okay, you're, where are you coming from? The ride home. Is that the, the name of a bar? Home. No, yeah, the ride home. Okay, like, where is this? <laughs> the Winter Garden. Right on. Okay. Oh, the name of the place is my house. right okay, on. Where's your house? Right here. Okay, gotcha. Give your ID on you. Yeah. Sure. If you don't have it on you, it's okay. You can just uh, we'll get your name later. Chase's speech was slurred, and his answers were incoherent. He was obviously intoxicated. Hey, Chase, if you want to leave that in the seat, then can we step over in this uh, this park a lot over here, so we can get yeah, you out of the road? Get out of the roadway. Yeah. Okay. If you actually leave the keys, man. Um, and I'll explain everything, okay? Well, Do you guys want to go around? Can you go around? Okay. okay, it's Chase, right? Yes, sir. Okay, Chase. So, the reason why we pulled you out of the car, well, first of all, we found you asleep at the light. Do you know how long you've been there? Nope. Okay, a minute. Okay. Yeah. Have you been drinking tonight at all? A little bit? Okay. Um, so right now, the concern is uh, for your ability to drive. So I'm, I'm just going to ask you, would you be willing to answer some questions? Would you be willing to do some sobriety exercises for us tonight? Absolutely not. Okay. Is your ID in the car? Yes. Okay. No problem. Just uh, sit tight. If you want to lean on this officer's car, I'll come right next to you. The officers were looking to determine just how inebriated Chase was, so they tried gone, to carry well, out a I field mean, sobriety up, test. I guess. Okay, Chase. All right. So generally what we do is we run you through some medical questions when you do the, extra, the field sobriety exercises. If you don't want to do those, you don't have to. Um, but right now you're asking us to make, base our decision on your ability to drive on what we've seen so far. And what we've seen so far is you asleep in the vehicle, you reek of alcohol, it, it's obviously you've been drinking, you told us that you came from the bar, so I, I just want to present you the opportunity again. Would you like to do field sobriety exercises? Nope. Okay. All right. Go ahead and turn around for Chase. 
Chase was arrested for suspicion of operating a motor vehicle while under the influence. He's looking at up to nine months in prison and a fine of up to $2,000 if he's found guilty. Our next case takes us to Bristol, Tennessee, where an officer pulled over a senator's daughter and proceeded to make a series of career-ending decisions. It was the 29th of November, 2017, when Officer Philip Kiersnoki pulled over Samantha Lundberg, daughter of Senator John Lundberg. The tin on her car windows appeared to be too dark, so the officer decided to investigate. Sam? No. You know how dark your window tin is? Oh, Officer McDaniel checked it last week. I swear to you, he pulled me over for it. You can check it, though. Uh, oh, this the mayor's daughter or something like that. I seen this video a while ago. I don't think it is. I swear, he pulled me over right in front of my house, on King, like near King College. Hold on one sec. Okay. Got another officer's got a little meter that he can put on it. You close to Weaver Pike in Southside? It's dark as hell. But yeah, Mc, Officer oh, McDaniel um, checked it last week, like literally in front of my house. He pulled me over because, no, he checked, pulled me over in October because my tags were expired. Mm -hmm. And um, he checked it then. Okay. You don't have like a medical exemption or anything like that, do you? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. why, why is it so dark? <laughs> Other than it looks good. I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it's been like this for. A year and a half. Well, I've right. been pulled over for it twice, but they've checked it both times. McDaniel pulled me over twice for it, and he's checked it both times. Do you use one of the cards like this, or do you have a meter? Use the card. All right. Carter's on his way here. He's got a meter. We can check it. At this point in the encounter, Officer Kiersnoki covered the microphone on his body-worn camera with his lapel. The sound was significantly muffled, but still possible to make out. The officer can be heard telling Samantha how he really felt about the stop. Probably looking for her. We all said if we found you driving, we're gonna write the tent. You all said that? Well, we all know your window tent's real dark. And I don't believe that's that's but yeah. Um So you knew you all are targeting me. No. You just no, said it. No. No, I didn't. Um just like I said, one call from your dad would probably make all this go away. It'd make save all of us a lot of heartache. <laughs> you got your license on you? Eventually, another officer arrived with a device for measuring the window tint. Yep, need the window tint made. How's this thing work? You just stick it on. Just stick it on there. All right. You just stick it on. She says Mac pulled her up the other day and said it was good. It looks real dark to me. What if I don't want him to check my window tint? I don't like you. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why don't you like Carter? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> you can roll this one up just a little bit. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> or that one. He might get his chin stuck in it. I don't know. <laughs> Man, it's awkward. Man, come on. This one. Oh, no. Whoa. I'm going to cut your hand off. What's, what's, what's the legal on this meter? What's the legal limit on the meter? It's supposed to be 35. I usually do 30. What is it? 12. Some people be getting five. 12. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think when Max stopped you, Max blind. <laughs> Dang. So, sit tight for me, okay? All right. All right. Samantha's tint was without a doubt darker than the legal limit, meaning that the officer had no choice but to issue her a ticket, not before making it clear once again that he did not want to enforce this law. All right. 
There's Yadi back. Except, I hate doing this, but our admin's on us real heavy for window tent. A lot of us don't agree with it, but... My mom got a ticket today, too. <laughs> where, where? I was giving her so much for it. Now I'm like, uh, Graham? Oh, uh, well, Josh is a jerk, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, shut up, don't tell people that. <laughs> no, uh, court date set February 26th at a.m. Uh, you do have the option of having it taken off and get legal limit, and the judge will treat it as a warning and he'll dismiss it. I'm not even going to be in town that day. There's a number on the back there you can call and have it rescheduled. Okay. Or you can just pay the ticket and leave the window tent as it is. However, it won't stop other people from stopping you. Wild. Okay. All right. All right. You just sign there. Not admission guilt. Saying you receive a citation, you'll get taken care of. You'll appear in court. All right. Got any questions for me? No. All right. Officer Kiersnowki's actions that evening were not without consequences. His body cam footage was reviewed and the very next day he was fired. According to a department memo, he was terminated for attempting to disable the audio on his body-worn camera and for attempting to persuade someone to take action to change police department policy that he did not agree with. Yeah. Want to see never before seen cases? That's enough to do it. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, Ty, let me know what y'all think about this. If you ask me, the only person that was in the wrong is like, well, all of them in the wrong, but like, I just don't get how they scared of they superior. That ain't my business, though. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, bro.